everyone, welcome back to Nightbird Tarot and welcome to your Magic Hour channeled message for the week of November 13th to November 19th. This is Brooke. I'm here for another channeled message, Magic Hour, and I hope everyone is doing well. This is the fourth episode, I guess you'd call it an episode, <laughs> of Magic Hour channeled message. I was thinking while I was preparing for the video, how many have I done? And this is the fourth one. So I hope that everyone is enjoying them. I'm going to continue to do them as long as I keep uh, getting viewers. And uh, I hope you're enjoying them. So let's get started. I've already meditated, prayed, and like I've stated before, this is not specific for all 12 astrological signs. This is a channeled message for everyone. However, it has been coming in. Specific signs are coming through. So each week, I don't know which signs are going to come up. So I always ask Divine Source, what are the spiritual messages for the specific signs for the week? So there have been specific signs that have come through to me today. So let's get started. So I'm also going to be doing a three-card tarot reading as well, plus I'm drawing a card from uh, the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, which is right here. I love this deck. If you haven't gotten it, please go get it because it's awesome. So I'm going to be pulling a clarifier card from that deck as well. So let's get started. For the week of November 13th to November 19th, three specific signs came up leo for the first time libra and scorpio came up so let's begin with leo first this is the first time that leo libra scorpio have shown up to me during these channeled messages the channel message if you're new to watching this is what i'm receiving either clairvoyantly through words or images that are basically coming into my mind. I'm not hearing them uh, audibly. I'm not doing like clear audient. This is very much, I'm very clairvoyant. So I receive dates, initials, images, colors, names, uh, words, messages, etc. However, I am known to be clear audience. <laughs> That's another story in itself. So Leo. And I'm quoting here because this is coming from what I consider my spiritual team, divine source, angels, etc. Heroes serve the others when they better serve themselves. That came up for Leo. Heroes serve others when they better serve themselves. Becoming the hero of your life is the focus this week for Leo. So if Leo... Sun, moon, rising. If you oftentimes feel the need to save other people or to help other people or to be the hero in a certain situation, now is the time Divine Source is telling me for you to step back and to become the hero this week of your own life, recognizing what needs to be focused upon within yourself in your own life rather than giving the focus to others. Not that you can't help others, I'm not saying that, but really giving the focus to yourself, to your needs, to your emotional needs, to your emotional wants, your physical needs this week is very important. Becoming the hero in your own life. So I hope that message was helpful for Leo. Libra. Libra, Divine Source, the message came through. Setting the groundwork on projects this week is the focus. So anything that you are now laying down the groundwork for, this could be symbolically, this could be literally, this could be figuratively, this could be physical, spiritual, whatever groundwork, Libra, you're setting out on for the week, whatever project, whatever goal, setting down the foundation or setting the groundwork groundwork this week is very important setting down the plan 
creating the business plan, drafting the actual physical plans. Okay, so that's the focus for Libra. So I hope that was helpful for Libra. Scorpio, very much about drive this week that came through to me. Drive for Scorpio this week. Driven energy for Scorpio. Plus, showing up is very important for Scorpio this week. Showing up for others, showing up for appointments, showing up is very important for Scorpio. This is for people in particular. Showing up for family members, showing up for appointments, showing up for others is very key for Scorpio this week. So I hope that was helpful for Scorpio. And the number 51 came up. So when a number comes to me, that could be an age. Uh, that could also be significant in terms of an anniversary. Something to do with the number 51. Now, I'm not a numerologist. You could probably Google that number and see what it means. But 51 came to me. Also, I picked up on left shoulder energy, left shoulder injury, left shoulder soreness. Uh, for those that are watching that that resonates for, there's some sort of pain that you are experiencing or have experienced in your left shoulder. And ask for healing light from the angels to heal that part of your body. Something to do with your left shoulder. So that came through as well. So I hope those messages were helpful. Once again, these are messages that come through to me. I write them down that come through to me that I get from Divine Source, from my spiritual team that come through to me clairvoyantly. So that is the message. And those are the signs that showed up. So let's go next to the tarot reading. Okay, guys, I'm using the Robin Wood tarot deck. I've already pre-shuffled. And the cards that came up this week are pretty interesting. We start off with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles has started off the week for November 13th to the 19th. And the Hierophant has appeared, followed by the Empress. So beginning with the Six of Pentacles, very much about giving back this week. This also could be in terms of financial gifts, financial gain. This could be through the uh, through gifting, through charity, through donations coming in. For many, this could be an increase in finances. This could be becoming the benefactor of a trust fund. This could be becoming uh, more inclined because it is the holiday season. And something came over me this weekend. <laughs> the Christmas spirit hit me. Now, I have children, and even though I'm not Christian, I do celebrate Christmas in decorating and doing all that Martha Stewart stuff. I, in fact, I was watching Martha Stewart. I just became obsessed with Christmas this weekend and just threw myself into Christmas. I don't know if anybody else has, but it was like, whoa. So the Six of Pentacles to me is also a card of feeling very charitable and generous and giving back, paying it forward. You got an extra $5 in your pocket. You walk by, you see someone that's asking for help. You know, you pull over, here, take this, that kind of urge or that kind of feel or that kind of need to give back, to want to help others in, the, in their time of need, especially when you have more to give. And the Six of Pentacles comes in as a card of feeling not only charitable and generous, but also feeling very secure in knowing that you're able to do it or that you feel that paying it forward is very important during this time. And I've had instances in my life where I've been 
uh, given things and the person will say to me, no, 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 just pay it forward, pay it forward. And I really believe in that this week, paying it forward, paying it forward with not only money or finance or, or feeling charitable, but paying it forward in kindness, paying it forward in caring, paying it forward in even the smallest of things, you know, when you're out and about and you see someone who looks like they're having a bad day, I always want to ask them, how are you doing today? Are you having a good day today? And just having someone recognize them. Okay, the recognition of that. And that's part of this card for me as well with the Six of Pentacles. So the Hierophant has shown up. The year fonts like the Pope to me in the Tarot deck. He's very much about tradition, rules, formalities. He's very much tied into doing things a certain way, certain protocols, certain rules. And many of you may be finding yourselves this week having to follow traditional guidelines, they're telling me. But in fact, you're also feeling a bit more creative and not just going down the, down the line of the status quo and following traditional guidelines. You're also wanting to kind of veer off to the left a little bit or veer off to the right and doing something a little bit more creative instead of following traditional guidelines or traditional protocols or traditional rules about something. So the Pope comes in, or the Hierophant, he's very much about formalities. Very much about formalities. Very much keeping to tradition. Keeping to family lineage. Keeping to family um, directives. You know. Keeping to well, your grandfather was a doctor. I'm a doctor, and so you will be a doctor. Well, I don't want to be a doctor. I want to do something a bit more fun. That's an example. So keeping strict guidelines to something, but feeling the need to follow your heart or follow your bliss and to go into another direction this week for many. And... This also can be very much tied in with church, with higher religious organizations, large institutions, universities, uh, large companies as well, having government entities, having to follow tradition or having to follow guidelines or having to follow uh, a regimen of some kind. So there's a need to steer off to another direction this week for many for some reason you feel pulled to do that okay something's very much calling you into wanting to do that and you may surprise yourself by the outcome of that ending with the empress she's the mother major arcana the empress of the tarot deck to me the Empress is not only about creativity and abundance, but she's very significant of mother energy. So anything that you're focused upon this week or thinking about doing, it's coming from a place of love, it's coming from a place of compassion, and it's coming from a place of wanting to nurture, of wanting to be nurtured, or wanting to nurture others. This also could be very significant for the ones who are married or planning pregnancies this week okay these could be births of new ideas for many this week as well something of some type of creativity or creative venture that will really bring about abundance okay really bringing about abundance for many with the six of pentacles very much about abundance very much about giving back or others giving to you and it could be a real surprise for many as well. You know, it could be a real surprise because you're not used to uh, perhaps traditionally your family or traditionally your job 
doesn't give out bonuses to the end of the year, but for some reason, they want to reward the company. They want to reward the employees, okay? And so out of the blue, you get a pay raise. Out of the blue, you're given a gift card for the holidays. So that's an example. So something's coming in that is very much about the, the need to give back or the need to reward this week. So I'm going to pull the card that I pulled from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And uh, I love this deck. If you haven't gotten it, please go get it. I think, did I get this last year for myself? I think I did. So the card that I pulled is Victory and Success. Victory and Success. And I'm going to read from the book. But victory and success, so that as a validator, as a validation or a clarification card, I wanted to draw from another deck. So what, whatever creative ideas or whatever entrepreneurial ideas or whatever um, ideas of, of kind of going off the beaten path this week for many creatively is going to really be successful. So follow your instinct this week because victory and success this card indicates good news is on its way for many completion victory success that often follow a difficult period many people around you are very proud to see how you triumphantly came through it they respect you and may even attempt to follow your example so you could be a a uh, pioneer of some kind, even with the smallest of ideas. You could be a trendsetter this week as well. You've worked hard and devoted much effort to get to this point in your life where you've become wiser and have grown in so many ways. This card also reminds you to stay grounded. Remember where you came from and keep your ego in check. <laughs> keep your ego in check, y'all. Don't lose who you really are. And that's how I feel. No matter how big my channel gets or no matter uh, how, you know, big, big my dreams get, I always want to remain grounded and humble and remember who I am and remember where I came from. The victory can be used as a teaching tool for the future. Realize that if you came through this challenging time, you can achieve anything. So I think that's a great testimony to the tarot reading this week and a great validator and clarification card to the reading this week as well. So good luck, everybody. I think the reading for the week on November 13th to the 19th is very, very positive. And my channel is all about empowerment. You know, I'm all about empowerment. Uh, for men and women, I'm very much about that. I try to steer away from uh, being very drama and, and kind of like feeding negativity to the viewer through my readings or through uh, anything that I do. So it's, it's all about empowerment. So my job is to help you through the messages, to feel that empowerment, to motivate you as well. Because I'm just like you. And I was thinking about that last night. Having a YouTube channel, anybody can do that. But I try to remember uh, and to instill in my daily life, I'm exactly like you. I'm exactly... Um, I have moments where I feel very stuck, where I feel very... <laughs> unhappy with my life, where I feel very excited about my life, where I feel very tired or where I feel that my life's not going where in the direction that I want it to go. So these readings also help motivate me to do them and help me to feel empowered to do them because I'm not only throwing the message out to you, the message also resonates with me as well. So thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And please check out my website below. I'm offering candle services. I came on last week and did a little mini video about that. 
check out the candle services. Also, I have released my four week class series, How to Read the Tarot for Love. I've released it publicly, so if you're interested in that, it was a four week class that I did privately for students. When did I do that? Like four, four, five, six months ago. I've released the videos publicly, so if you're interested in that, watch them as well. So take care, everyone. I'll be back next week. Have a blessed week, and I'll speak to you soon.